Good evening, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 380 South Nectarine Street here in Cornelius. We're located at the rear left corner of the house right here before the, uh, the gate to the backyard. Buried about 10 inches deep, we have a 3 inch ABS clean out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. Okay, we just went through a section of pipe there with some standing water in it. We'll take a look at that on the way out, see what's left over once it's actually drained. So far, all I'm really seeing in the line here is grease buildup. Uh, generally, when it comes to the bellies, you need usually around three quarters to one inch of standing water to persist for about five feet or so. Uh, before you're actually going to get real debris buildup where you're getting like toilet paper stuff that's intended to go down the line collecting. Um, grease is going to build up in no matter how well your sewer line functions. But it will tend to hang up in those areas where you've got some, even the smallest amount of standing water. Anyway, here at 42 feet it transitions over to 4 inch PVC pipe. And here at 80 feet, we have reached the main lateral. I'll do locates to verify where the line heads out to. Looks like we've got three different spots where we do have some standing water. that will let the line drain out here completely before reeling back. That will give us a better look at everything. All right, located the camera head successfully. Heads right out to the street. Comes out the left side of the house and just heads out to the street. Looks like the line is all drained out at this point, as much as it's going to be. Uh, right now, this belly here in particular is hovering right around three quarters of an inch. Starts here at about 75 feet and extends out to the main ladder. That's about a five foot section of the line here. Now, this is kind of right the uh, brink of where lines can be problematic. You've got about five feet there with three quarters to one inch of standing water. That's located out in the street. And based on the debris buildup here, the line is still functioning. We don't, we're not seeing that water there was pretty thick with debris. But you are getting stuff hanging up here. Um, my concern is you've got enough bellies back to back here that there, I was just making sure that belly didn't persist any, anything beyond that, this point right here. Now, I'll put a marking out in the street here. Um, again, the line is still functioning. We don't, we don't have major clogs or anything like that. These are problem spots where you can get debris hanging up um, fairly easily, especially when you have three different bellies back to back. Now, if you're watching what goes down the line, making sure that there's no paper towels and diapers and tampons and grease going down the sink, uh, your regular toilet paper is going to make it through this fairly easily. And even if it does hang up, it's going to break down. Uh, those other items I mentioned will not. So I'll go locate this. Um, unfortunately, we're having a heavy, heavy rainstorm today. Our paint is not going to last on the ground, so you may have to do relocates there if you uh, do a repair. All righty. Went ahead and located her out in the street against the last five feet of the line before it hits the main. This actually may be the city's responsibility. It's worth looking into that. Um, many towns, especially smaller towns like Cornelius, um, often the city will take responsibility at the curb or the right of way. Uh, it's worth looking into that. Even homeowner may be responsible all the way out, but we're checking into it. 
Now, because we've got three quarters to one inch of standing water there for exactly five feet, I am going to recommend a repair to correct that. Now this particular spot here, you can see how the line is drained out. This water level is sitting below the camera lens, uh, which means there's less than a quarter inch of water there. It's, prob it's only about a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. That is minimal enough. I'm not going to recommend any repair there. Again, as long as, especially a spot like that, as long as the only thing going down the line is toilet paper and regular food down the disposal, um, it's going to shoot through that spot like it wasn't even there. Uh, if you're putting grease and paper towels and, and stuff like that down the line, it's going to hang up in that spot. Uh, but in my opinion, it is not worth doing a repair on. So the, the one I'm, I'm most concerned about is the last five feet out in the street. Um, I am going to recommend a repair on it due to the amount of standing water that's there. Again, the line is functioning. If you're careful with what goes down the line, that belly is most likely not going to cause you a problem. So anyway, apart from the uh, last five feet of the line there, the rest of the line's all in good shape. It's all intact. There's no breaches in the line or anything like that. No. It is functioning. It's not functioning properly due to the belly. No. Anyway, if a repair is not done, I would just keep an eye on it. Uh, you could do a rescope in one to two years to see how it's looking at that point. Every household is different as to what goes down the line and how many people are in it. So if a repair is not done, I would just recommend doing a rescope in one to two years to see how it's looking at that point. Uh, that stuff can be remedied. If you are getting debris buildup, you can do hydro jets on the line we sell every year, every you know, two, three years to keep the debris build up to a minimum. Now, apart from that, the rest of the line is in good shape and functioning at this time.